Hi, how are you? Today I want to record this video to show you how to create your own app without programming. Okay, so if you are a non-tech person, uh, there are some tools out there that let you create your own app. Okay, um, the process is very easy. Okay, you just need to learn how to use these tools. Okay, and then you will have your own app for Android and iOS. Okay, so in case you have your own business, uh, like a restaurant or a nail studio or something like that and you need an app to make your customers loyal okay uh, maybe you should have an app okay on the play store because it's a direct channel to your customers so that you can contact them by push notifications or you can even add loyalty programs and things like that okay or even if you are just an individual at home and you want to make some money by creating apps okay um, you can also do it. You can just create your app and then monetize the app with advertisement. Okay, so I picked this tool called Mobbing Cube. Okay, and I'm going to talk about it. Okay, so I will create a series of videos. Uh, today I will start with the getting started with the tool. Uh, but in the next videos, I will show you how to go deeper in the tool, how to create more advanced things. Uh, right. So yeah, subscribe to my channel in case you want to keep learning about how to use Moving Cube, and I promise I will keep adding more videos. Okay. So well, this tool Moving Cube is. Uh, some people ask if it's free or not. So let's check the pricing. Okay. Uh, there's a free plan. Okay, and there they say they have unlimited apps, unlimited space. Um, Firebase and push analytics. Okay, this means that you can create your apps for free. Okay, if you need an app, you can do it for free. There's no limit in the number of downloads or functionalities. Okay, so you can create it for free. The only thing if you do it for free is that uh, all the apps will have advertisement inside, like ad banners. Okay. Um, but the good thing is that you can make money with those advertisements. Okay, so if you go to the plan S and you pay like three dollars a month, okay, then you will be able to get the money from those advertisements. And they say two thousand monthly active users. That means that if your apps have less than two thousand users per month, then you will get all the money from those advertisements. Okay, and if your apps grow bigger, then you will need to upgrade to the next plan so that you have like. Uh, 7500 monthly active users or even more in the higher plans okay but normally with the first amount you should be able to start getting some money and get getting to know the tool and everything okay and if you have a business you can create your app for free okay the only thing is that if you want to remove that advertisement because that ads uh, come from third party advertisers okay so i guess if you have your own business you will want the app not to have any advertisement from other companies okay so then you will need to go to the plan m okay to remove ads okay but if you don't need that you can create your apps for free okay so yeah, I picked Moving Cube because it's um, a very easy to use tool and it's very flexible. They, they have a lot of options so you can customize your app. It's not only based on, I'm going to use, you can create the, the, the account for free. I'm going to use one that I, that I already have. Okay, so when you enter, this is where you have all your apps. Okay, if you just created uh, your account, it will be empty. So the first thing you have to do is click here on create new app and then enter the name for your app, like test app. Okay, then you have two options. You, you can use a template. Moving Cube has like 30 different templates for restaurants, for nail studios, for hotels, things like that or you can start your app um, from from scratch. Okay, if it's your first time, I would recommend to, to start with a template. Okay, uh, let's do this. And you can pick one of them. 
Okay, uh, I mean, if you already have a business, um, there might be a template more appropriate for your business. But if not, you can just pick one. Like, there are some even like green samples, black samples. These are not for businesses, but if you pick one, you will go to edition mode. Okay, so here in this template, you already have like some screens pre-made. You can, from this tab on the right, you can switch from one screen to another. Okay, and you have some samples. So you can just start like clicking on these elements and start changing text and things like that. Or pictures. And you can upload any picture here or any video or any audio file. And well, it's basically very easy to use. Okay, but if, in case you want to start from scratch, you can start adding screens from here. So you, you click on the screen tab and from here you can add a, a new one my new screen for example so basically your app is made of screens okay so you have to design all the screens of your app and then once you have all the content inside and all the design then you will need to publish your app so here's my new screen and here I need to select which type of screen this screen is going to be Okay, so you can create a menu with an option, uh, with a list of options. You can create a detail screen, which means that you can add images, text, videos, everything together. Or you can create an action image, which means that you will add an image and then select some areas in that image so the user can click on those areas and something will happen. Okay, then you can add RSS for news feeds and things like that. Or a map, a Google map in your app and add some points of interest in, in the map. Or you can add a calendar, um, an embedded website in your app. This is very useful for, in case you, you, you are done with your app or, or you see the functionality a, a bit limited for you and you need to create something more advanced, you can add a website inside the app. Um, that website can be hosted in a server or it can be hosted inside the app. Okay, so if you host it inside the app, you can start developing your own code for your app in HTML and JavaScript. All right, uh, so you can create an also a splash screen if you want to show your logo for three seconds before the app opens, or you can add databases, and that's one of the strongest points of Moving Cube because with databases you can show a lot of information about restaurants, about a lot of things in your app. Okay, or you can add a small shop in your app in case you want to sell some services. Okay, so basically this is what you will do. For example, I'm going to pick detail. Okay, and from here I can just drag and drop like images. I can select one or I can upload my own app, uh, my own image, sorry. Okay, so and then once you select the image, you can change the size, position, things like that. Okay. So I'm, going, I'm not going to enter into detail in this video. I just wanted to show you how easy Moving Cube is. Uh, so in other videos, I will go into detail and, and explain all these elements and all the types of, of screens and things like that. Okay, so once you're done with your app, you can preview it in your device. If you have an Android device, you go to preview. And from here, you can click on request and after like three or four minutes you will have a, a url okay so if you put that url in your android device then you will be able to see the app in your device okay this is very useful before publishing your app okay because if there's something that you don't like you can just go back to edit and change it okay or if you don't have an android device you can preview it on ios okay we use appetize.io which is an emulator for, for iOS, okay? You can just click here and follow instructions, okay? I'm not going to go into detail now. 
And finally, when you are done with your app, you just need to go to publish. Okay, and from here, first you need to publish on Moving Cube. Click on this button and the app will start publishing. Okay, for uh, and after you do that, we give you this URL. Okay, so if you distribute that URL anywhere, any anyone with that URL will be able to download your app on an Android device. Okay, for iOS, it's different because only, I mean, people with an iPhone can only download apps if they are published on, on the App Store, on iTunes. Okay, so after publishing on Moving Cube, you will need to go to Android Markets in case you want to publish on Google Play or App Store in case you want to publish on, on iTunes, okay? In both cases, you need to have your own account on Google Play or, or iTunes, okay? So the, um, the Apple developer account is $100 that you have to pay to Apple per year, okay? Then you can publish as many apps as you want. And then for, for Google Play, you need to pay $25 once. It's a one-time fee. Okay, so after that, you can publish as many apps as you want. Okay, so, well, basically, this is the getting started I wanted to show you. So, again, I will keep um, publishing more videos and I will go into detail on how to use Moving Cube and how to take the most benefit of Moving Cube. Okay, so please subscribe to my channel and I will keep posting these videos. Okay, thank you and see you in the next video.